Another committee is the scholarship committee, and there used to be two scholarships, but now there are three scholarships, although the third one's actually connected to the Virginia uh, VLA Library uh, Foundation. But there were three scholarships awarded. The, um, there's a, a, a VLA scholarship that's awarded to anyone who lives in Virginia and is a member of VLA. And then the Clara Stanley Scholarship, which is co-sponsored by the VLA Paraprofessional Forum, is awarded to anyone who is living and working in a Virginia library, living in Virginia, working in a Virginia library. And these are for people who want to earn their master's degree and become professional librarians. So any of you who are in the paraprofessional category and are looking to earn your MLS, look into these three different scholarships that you can get to help you pay for school. <coughs> and the scholarship committee has one big fundraiser. That's the basket raffle. If you were down in the exhibits hall, you may have already seen the baskets. And there's lots of great things in the different baskets. All of these baskets were donated by different libraries and individuals. And there's some really wonderful things in the baskets. And the way you participate is by purchasing raffle tickets, and then you put your name on the raffle ticket and put it in the little um, bag, in the bag by the basket that you want to try to win. And they're going to announce the winners tomorrow morning, I think between 8.30 and 9.15, before the first session during the first session. So um, stop by after, you know, during the morning, before you leave the conference tomorrow, stop by to see if you've won something, if you're, if you're putting bids in on them, because they want you to take the baskets with you if you win. <laughs> and if you're not going to be here, have a friend check for you. <laughs> so the way to get involved in the scholarship committee is um, you can either contact the VLA executive director, Linda Haney, or you can contact Sandra Shell, who was down there at the raffle this morning selling raffle tickets. Now next is the Publications Committee. The Publications Committee produces Virginia Libraries, our nice professional journal, which explores different library issues of interest to people here in Virginia. And they also produce the VLA Newsletter. This is the very last print issue of VLA Newsletter, and it also contains an ad that they're seeking a newsletter editor. That's one of the ways you can get involved. If you thought you had the time, you could volunteer to become the next VLA Newsletter editor. But if you can't do that, they still need committee members to help, and they also still would like, if you can't be a committee member, you could also submit articles, either newsy items for the Virginia Libraries, the newsletter online, newsy items for the newsletter, or um, in-depth articles on topics of interest for Virginia libraries. And inside the Virginia libraries, you'll find the submission standards. And we're up to Jesse again for the Legislative Committee. Hi, I'm finally talking about a committee I've actually had some experience with. Uh, the Legislative Committee, I'm going to talk a little bit about the overall goals of the Legislative Committee. Again, this is just barely scratching the surface. And talk about an exciting committee to work with. It's really very, very interesting to get involved. Uh, but their main goals are to provide uh, coordination to ensure that libraries across the state are familiar with current issues and have access, this is the important part, to information regarding legislative initiatives and activities. So again, there's that back and forth. Um, they provide information out to VLA, and hopefully VLA gives them information of what they'd like to see done legislatively. Each year offers the opportunity for new strategies, activities, and opportunities to succeed during each session. Uh, the Legislative Committee is assisted in its efforts through the services of Phil Abraham. He is a lobbyist, a professional lobbyist from the Vector Corporation. Uh, dues, fundraising efforts, etc. I think maybe the Foundation too, um, help to pay his salary. But he, that is money well spent because he's out there fighting for uh, library funding for us. Which every year, and this will probably be one of the worst in a long time, is a difficult road. Uh, the three major areas of concern, as I already stated, are uh, funding, almost, almost always number one on everybody's mind. 
Uh, I just wanted to read real quickly uh, about state aid. It's codified in the state code, 42.1-46 uh, through 42.158. It authorizes the awarding of grants to provide for the development of library service and to assist libraries in improving standards of service. State aid has been cut dramatically. I'm sure everybody has felt that pinch. Um, since full funding was last achieved, get this, in fiscal year 2001. We haven't been at full funding since then. Currently, state aid is funded at 67% of the level required by the state. So there it is in the law, but yet we're not even meeting that goal. So um, the resulting in a shortfall to public libraries of nearly $7 million per year. So I think our money spent on Phil going out there and working for us is money well spent. Find of Virginia is another um, yearly goal of the Legislative Committee for lobbying. And um, does everybody know what Find of Virginia is? <coughs> no? Uh, most public libraries uh, have this through the Library of Virginia. It's a set of databases. And as a result, uh, public libraries don't have to pay those exorbitant fees <laughs> that Gail and so forth would uh, charge us. But usually that's funded through LSTA funds. But um, the Library of Virginia makes it available for free to certain library systems. And it's a collection of databases that assist libraries in offering research help for the public, especially school-aged children. So this is always a big um, concern for the Legislative Committee. In fact, I believe last year they decided to put it before funding. That's how important they thought it was. Um, although this initiative has been a high priority on the legislative agenda, it remains unfunded at the state level, which I just think is terrible. Uh, as far as policy, the things uh, the Legislative Committee works on is usually uh, we've had a long, tough row with filtering. Uh, internet filtering also relates to funding. That's, they're kind of intertwined uh, through the legislature. Libraries wishing to receive E-rate funding, that's actually federal money, are required to place filters on all library computers. Now there's some library systems, Fairfax being one I believe, that chose not to get the E-rate, so they didn't have to worry about the filters in that case. But then the state got involved, and um, we were successful, the Legislative Committee, in blocking um, internet filtering legislation in 2006, but in 2007, both state, House, and Senate uh, voted to uh, pass a technology protection measure bill requiring the installation and activation of filters in order to receive state funding. So any library in the state that wants state funding has to have filters. But we, we fought the hard fight for many years. Uh, another issue for the Legislative Committee is the Library of Virginia. Um, VLA su supports the funding for the Library of Virginia presented to the Secretary of Education for inclusion in the Governor's um, budget, as is represented to the General Assembly. So in other words, we're there 100% behind the funding for the uh, Library of Virginia. Uh, Without exception, VLA has supported this funding throughout the years. So those are, that's a very brief overview of what the Legislative Committee does every year. Uh, but as I have up here, these are the two co-chairs, Betty Dillahay and Elizabeth Spiegel, and I know they would love to hear from you. If you don't want to be active on the committee, Elizabeth has a, um, an email listserv she has going. Whenever there's a, an important legislative issue coming up, she likes to be able to shoot out an email to all people that could send um, letters or whatever to their congressmen or their state senators and uh, assembly members. 